Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it was sort of in relation to the, uh, uh, the fable um, being rated because sex was war. It sort of stem, stems from um, the reactions that people have about uh, being socially uh, sensitive about certain issues. Socially, like the Holocaust? <laughs> not, not quite like the Holocaust. Like, uh, like uh, games and over sexualization, like stuff like that. Because I know, but it's a, a lot form of, of entertainment. I I get you. Okay, it, so so this is my thing. There's sex in movies. Why can't there be sex in games? There's a no, rating. No, 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 no. I totally agree. Okay, but but here's the thing. Okay, so they do what? <laughs> the problem is when we talk about gaming and making entertainment, we have the habit yeah. of talking about like, why. this sort of objective like thing you can sort of nail down. Like, well, it's like the only form of entertainment that you're truly interacting with. <laughs> so, people seem to talk that way a lot. Sure. Sure. I mean, I guess so, but... Main problem I have with the way that it's talked about is we don't see this as sort of something you... No, no, no. I, I guess the better thing is we're not taking businesses into, into consideration. Regardless of how we feel about um, how much we should be able to express our sexuality or our, you know, interest in violence as entertainment, the company has to keep their assets. And if they see that there's a growing demographic of people who feel uncomfortable with the content that they make, then they have to make the logical business decision to say, well, maybe we can scale this down a little bit. Or maybe we can change this a little bit. So, you know, it's just like, like, I don't agree with the argument that's often made about video games having, like, gigantic tits and chicks in bikinis because, you know, let's be fair, I draw porn pretty much for a living. Well, so, yeah, plus that's like all Japanese fighting games, so continue. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, I, I understand why people are upset about it. I understand why people feel marginalized about it, but I don't think that it should call for any sort of mandate for that to change. But that being said, I think that we as gamers have to realize that this is always going to be a sort of shifting issue. And businesses are going to do what's in their best interest. And you have to look at it as a logical decision. If their market, if their audience is growing and wants different things, then there's no reason why they shouldn't hear them and try and make a product that better suits everyone. Yeah, I don't think I'm... it's a good response to simply tell them, you know, go out to watch the Sex in the City or something horrible, like that, right? you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, I think the whole censorship with games thing, no, what they it's did. touchy, but it they really, shit, it's, but it really shouldn't be an issue. Like, like uh, you know, I'm constitutional, freedom of speech. Fucking lag all that all the way. So if something's like it's intended to be this certain way, that's how I want it to be. I don't want a whole bunch of, 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 of shit taken out of it like well that's the thing i'm not even so much sure that a lot of the censorship that happens that's, is because the government retired, yeah. doesn't want it to happen as much as people get offended by it and i know that's an easy thing to attack especially within the um the gaming community oh why are you being so sensitive about these things but i mean just because you're aware there's a social game being played doesn't mean you don't have to play the game anymore. So, if if you want to consume content the way it's being made, then I not getting any lag ever on this game, Doctor. You know, generally when you're on this side of gaming or making art, you want the more gratuitous stuff. But um, oh yeah, but. The thing with the censorship I'm talking about is like in Japan you could they got porn games all over the fucking place. There's an there's an entire probably like small little town that de dedicated yeah, first to anime not games getting lag on this and shit. Die. Well, even in that, so I don't know too much about Japanese society, so I'm not sure how much I can comment on that. But I'm pretty sure they have a rating system, so I don't think you could just you know walk into a store and randomly buy hentai. I do know oh, they're open oh. about their interest in it. Well, yeah, 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 there's a rating system, but it, it's not like the way it is in, in America. But they're a little bit more reserved with the way they censor things, though. Yeah. Like, they'll let you have it, but they'd be like, we can't show this junk or anything. No penis for you. 
Yeah. From what I've read about Japan and their censorship, that's uh that uh, happened after some general back in uh World War Two didn't like Fucking how they IEDs, were about certain man. things and he sort of Fuck pushed their up. conservative views onto them. And it's just a law about censoring the genitals that they never right. bothered to get rid of. They were just like, Yeah, why not? <laughs> yeah. So yeah, with the gaming community, people get really touchy. They cry and whine about things, and then they want people to, and then they they look toward the government to fix it for them. Like, I don't think they look so much toward the government as much as they blame developers for the way that it's made. I mean, that's what I see a lot of the time. I yeah, mean, especially but, with issues like sexism, I said I hear them say, "God, why, why don't they take me?" Into yeah, but when when shit like that happens, it becomes a political issue almost instantaneously. Like, sure, like, sure. Like the war on drugs shifts to the war on video games. Somehow. I'm not sure it's quite... It, 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 I'm just ad-libbing here, I'm not saying... I mean, I'm just saying they're both bullshit. But... It... Well, it depends. I mean, we live in a democracy. So, with that comes the fact that if you have an opinion and lots of other people um, hear you and agree with that opinion, then they can all push to get Make something that opinion place. come to you know yeah yeah and, that's and how with that we passed. just you just have to have an equal reaction you know if you care strongly enough about it then you need to get your own people to say hey this is why we disagree with it but it needs to be met with some tact it needs to be pointed out logically and i think the problem is a lot of people just get really angry this is fucking bullshit this is stupid and it shouldn't be like this and that's not how you deal with issues you know that doesn't fix anything yeah. Here yeah. by the boat. Um, heavy. But, like, when, when you say, like, sexism in games is touchy, you take them all out of here. Like, having sex at you. in the game. That people Most of the time, it's on? the character designs. Like, uh, on Tumblr all the time, I see people complain a lot about fantasy armor, like how the chicks wear, uh, you know, uh, like, really skimpy clothes. Damn. And, um, yeah, they were like again, it's like over there. there too. Sure. And um, I know that a lot of chicks, a lot of feminists, a lot of people within the community generally don't like that. And they push against it on the grounds of realism, which I totally disagree with. To me, that's a really dumb point to make. But uh, they push against it on the grounds of, um, of realism. So I don't know if that's really the best way to push for better armor. I mean, if you, if you play Mass Effect, you can see how their armor is Enemy appealing while spotted. at the same time being, you know, sort of attractive. So I'm sure video games could go in that direction if they really wanted to please both markets. Yeah, but, Mass Effect is a, is another one of those games that, that handles things really well, even though yeah. they still got fucking shit for having <laughs> sex in their game. Even though you didn't see shit, it was just a bunch of people tumbling around in the bed. Fuck, man. Whatever. But, yeah, I, th I think they handled that issue pretty well. As far as being able to customize your character and in with both genders and all sorts of uh, inclusive stuff, so that's, that's good. But um, generally, there's a lot of outcry about how video games handle them. And um, I think we just need to be more open about the debate. We need to choose better ways to argue against it. Like. My biggest reason for saying uh, don't rely on realism to handle why they design their armor. Like, like I said, like they, they make the argument that, well, it isn't realistic. If they were wearing skimpy armor like that, then they would get stabbed. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah it's, about a cabin. Mean, it's, it's a video. It's a fantasy. It's a fantasy. Yeah. It's, it's a fantasy. fantasy setting, period. It, yeah. None of that realism oh, yeah. is going to carry over into the game for the most part you have to consider the visual elements as just aesthetic it's just something yeah. there yeah I, I, where, I, I think when the developers come into like doing something like that for a game the first thing they think about is does it look good sure yeah and i know that the other argument too that is well most of them are guys and they're only thinking with guys in mind but no, there's a man. Business... Well, I, won't, I don't want to say anything really. Never mind. Never mind. From, from a business perspective, I understand that's that. I think that's a legit complaint, because if you have to market to a broad audience, then you do need to make your product with. Uh, you need to be more considerate 
of who you're marketing it to. Or rather, you need to broaden that a little bit if you want to keep everybody satisfied. Yeah, but, I mean, you, you don't see, like, people getting up in roars with, like, dudes coming out in Speedos and shit on games. Like, sure, Dead, but that's, Dead but Rising that, but, lets but that's you kind wear of... every kind of clothing you could ever possibly wearing in your fucking fucked up mind. Sure, but that's kind of diversionary, you know what I mean? Like, it, sure. It, it, it is diversionary, but... For but you it, to get it, like for, it, for it, like someone to get offended about one thing, just cause like they're a chick and you know they're in skimmy clothes, that's kind of sexist in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? So why would you say that? Well, because I mean, why why is it like wrong for this girl to like be in a bikini top, diamond plated bikini tops? When a guy could, when, when when it's not wrong for a dude to be in diamond plated speedos. Well, the difference. Okay, so that was one of the biggest things that I wanted to touch on. So the reason that sexual um, sexualization, yeah, sexualization happens is pretty much for two reasons. One, it's to emphasize the differences between an idealized man and an idealized woman. Now I know that seems like an easy cop out to just say, oh, well, they're supposed to be perfect, so they should have gigantic sexual assets. But if you look back at mythology from pretty much the beginning of time, there's always been that heavy emphasis on the qualities that make men and women what they are. You know, the Romans and ancient Mesopotamian tribes were all fond of making, you know, statues with gigantic boobs and bulging vaginas and dudes with gigantic dongs. It was just, an, it was an easy way to identify the difference between the two genders. But, um, I don't think I think there needs to be that distinction made. I think that people need to realize that there's a difference between idealizing the traits that make something feminine and overt sexualization. That was a mouthful. <laughs> yeah. Alright. But well, where's the book stop? Like, I think, well, that's the thing. The buck doesn't stop. It's always going to be an ongoing debate. And I think that as long as we're engaged in it, we need to handle it with some tact. Like, it's not a good idea to just go out there and be like, rah, shut up, your opinion is stopping me from enjoying things. We'll engage in the discussion. You might get your mind changed, or you might make a point that will change their mind. But as long as you go around it with this attitude, like, you know, my opinion is right, no matter what. Eh. We can advance forward. Yeah, yeah. And the big, the other thing is, it's kind of a tribe pleasing thing, you know. It's like if I tell those chicks and those feminists off, all my bros will think I'm cool. I mean, maybe nobody thinks or, that in the front of their mind, but that's the, the sort of attitude they adapt. It's always in the back. Yeah, like, like, like when some dude's trying to hit on a chick and he's just trying to impress her. That's not really how you want to get that girl. She doesn't want to be impressed. She wants to be engaged. I mean, not engaged, engaged, but like engaged in like interesting conversation. Yeah. So it's always it's always going to be a debate. I don't really see a problem with it. I think that as long as a video game makes their intent clear as far as what they're making, then it shouldn't be a problem. Like, um, example being, uh, what was it that this was a long time ago? This was a game for the Xbox, like a bikini samurai sort of thing. I think that's pretty overt Sorry. and. <laughs> In what sort of video game they want to create so nobody picking up the game is gonna mistake that for you know, something that's supposed to be all inclusive to everyone yeah if you like bikini samurais get that shit yeah but when a video game tries to take themselves seriously and then market themselves to everyone and then treat one of the people who they're marketing to wait, wait, wait. as sort of just Thank cannon fodder then you know. uh, time probably I don't know yeah we continue. We we can pick that up for a different conversation. Um, be sure to rate, comment, favorite, and subscribe, guys. See you later.